Welcome to the first online lab. We will learn how to use microscopes and how to do scientific drawing. Let's start with basic information of microscopes. Microscopes are one of the most important instruments used in almost branches of biological sciences. We use microscopes to study objects that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. After watching this video, you should be able to explain differences between a transmitted compound microscope and a stereo microscope. In addition, you should be able to name the major components of the microscopes and describe their functions. In this lab, you will learn two types of optical microscopes. The first one is a transmitted compound microscope, or we call in short a compound microscope. Here is a binocular compound microscope with twin ocular lens. Here is the second type, which is called a stereoscopic compound microscope. We usually call it stereo microscope. Now, let's see a picture showing basic components of the microscope. Please see your lab manual for the full description of the parts. Let's begin. Power switch. Ocular lens. Objective lens. Stage and stage clip. Slide precision knob. Condenser. Iris diaphragm. Base and arm. Let's move on to see the major parts of the compound microscope and their functions. While watching this section, you should be completing your lab report. Lift and move the microscope with both hands. Hold the arm with one hand and place the other hand under the base for support. When viewing a specimen under the microscope, you should place the slide on the stage and secure the slide using the stage clip. Ocular lens, eyepiece. This part may contain lenses with 7-fold, 10-fold, or 15-fold magnification. For the microscope used here, the ocular lens has the 10-fold magnification. Here is interpupillary distance adjustment. If you look through the ocular lens and see two separate images, you should make an adjustment. By adjusting the interpupillary distance, the two separate images should merge into one to allow you to see one sharp image. Next. The objective lens. The objective lens is a set of lenses closest to the specimen. A standard microscope has three to four objective lenses, ranging from a low power, a medium power, a high power, and an oil immersion lens. When you use the microscope, make a good focus at the lowest magnification before changing to higher magnifications. If you want to zoom in to see more details, you need to change the objective lenses to higher magnification. At the lowest magnification of the objective lens, use the coarse adjustment knob to bring the specimen in focus. 
If the image is already in focus and you need to bring it to the sharp focus, you need to turn the fine adjustment knob. To change the objective lenses among different magnifications, you must turn the nose piece. Sometimes the image is unclear because it is too bright or too dark. You may adjust the iris diaphragm. The iris diaphragm is a light controller device used for adjusting the amount of light that reaches the specimen. In addition, you may adjust a dimming knob. For more details of the other parts, please read the description in the lab manual. Now, let's learn about a stereo microscope. This is a picture showing overview of major parts of a stereo microscope. This is ocular lens, objective lens, stage and stage clip, course adjustment knob, zoom knob, base and arm. Next, you will compare the differences of images viewed through the transmitted compound microscope with stereo microscope. First, draw a letter F. In the column of image observed with naked eye in the lab report, draw the letter F that you see. Then, observe the letter F under the compound microscope. Please note that we use tenfold magnification of the ocular lens and the fourfold magnification for the objective lens. Look at your lab report. In a compound microscope column, Draw the image of F observed under the microscope. Make sure you record the magnification in the lab report. Furthermore, explain in words the differences between images observed with your naked eye and under the microscope. Next, let's see the letter F under the stereo microscope. Please note that we use tenfold magnification of the ocular lens and the fourfold magnification of the objective lens. Now, draw the letter F as you see under the stereoscope in the lab report, in the stereoscope column, and the record the magnification. Also explain in words the differences between images observed with the naked eye and under stereo microscope. Then compare differences among images observed with naked eye the compound microscope and stereo microscope. A wet mouth slide is a temporary slide of a specimen. The specimen slide is prepared using small amount of water to hold the specimen under a cover slip. 
we will explain steps to make the wet mount slide. First, place the specimen on the slide. This method is only suitable for small specimens. Second, add a drop of water onto the specimen on the slide. Then, place a cover slip so that one side touches the water drop. Now, you use the tip of a needle or tips of forceps to lower the cover slip down slowly to avoid air bubbles. After that, remove excess water with a tissue paper. Finally, the specimen is now ready to be observed under the microscope. For our online lab, we have made a wet mouth slide of a piece of algae for you. Please draw this specimen in your lab report. Here is the observed specimen under the compound microscope. Draw a picture of the specimen in the lab report. Please write the objective lens magnification and the ocular lens magnification below your drawing. Here is an example of how to draw the picture and write the magnification. Do not copy this drawing. This is only an example of a leaf. Here is our algal specimen. Now please draw the picture of algae observed with naked eye and under the microscope. This video covers only some topics of how to use microscope properly. You have to do further studying of how to handle and use a microscope. Make sure that you read all information in your lab manual.